In this video, I'm going to be showing you a custom connector repair that you can do for a laptop. Well, today's uh, victim is uh, my Sony VAIO laptop. I've had this for about three and a half years. It's the uh, VAIO F series. Um, I like it a lot. It's a pretty powerful computer. The only thing that sucks about it is the DC barrel jack just doesn't work. I've gotten it replaced before. It costs a couple hundred dollars for them to do it because it's not a standard one. It's some funky type that they have if you look right there. So it's like a, um, like a double barrel DC connector while, I don't know. Um, before that, it was uh, some little pitchfork kind of inside connector. So I got that repaired and it still refuses to charge properly. So I always have to wiggle it around to the little charging indicator light up here um, flashes uh, or turns on orange to indicate that the unit's charging. So I've been frustrated with this for many months. So now I decide that I'm actually going to open up this computer and take out this um, DC barrel jack and then I'm going to replace it with a different connector. The parts that we have for today are the uh, classic Dean's connectors, so that's what I'm going to be using. Um, heat shrink tubing, set of screwdrivers and tools for to take apart the laptop. Butane lighter, where I'm going to have to use a shrink tubing to make it look nice and good instead of using electrical tape. Uh, wire cutters. And then uh, voltmeter here because I need to check the polarity of the of the connection. I'm assuming that on the Sony charger, it's actually uh, the inside part is positive and the outside is negative. But I'll do a measurement of that before I start doing connections or attaching the connector, and then verify it again. And then I'm still determining what wire I should use. Um, I might use the heavy duty thick wire, so this nice uh, 10, uh, 12 gauge, up, uh, sorry, excuse me, uh, 12 gauge wire right here. So I'll be using some of that. Um, it's probably overkill, but I know it's durable and I've used it for many projects before. All right, so let's begin. Just, let me just clear the stuff out real quick. Oh, I forgot, of course, uh, my soldering iron too. So just using a uh, standard soldering iron for, uh, so I can just solder the wires on there permanently. Try to do a good job. I still need this. So first thing what you want to do is we want to uh, pull the battery out. And then second, we're gonna I'm gonna pull out the hard drive because I value my data, so I don't want it to get corrupted. Ah, uh, here we go. See, um, SSD drive. It's the Corsair Force GT series so it's a 480 gig hard drive um spent quite a bit of money on this one back in the day but gotta protect this okay so now to the fun part we're gonna have to remove the top little thing on the inside so i'll show you that in just a sec so we're going to remove these screws right here in order to uh, get access to the, remove the front panel. There we go. So now we have the panel removed. That was a pain in the ass to do. Uh, we'll just get my nice duster I just got right here. And we're just gonna clean off the inside of it right now. Okay, let me dust this off real quick. 
So Sony had me thinking for a while, this whole entire thing is a speaker grill, but uh, but it's not. It's just, these are just the two uh, dinky speakers right here, you know? So it's, they're making me proud. Let's just say that. Anyway, uh, we'll just clean off the inside. So now we have to remove the keyboard. So what we do is you just simply push forward. I mean, you're gonna lift up and then you're gonna pull towards the screen. So you're gonna have to use a little bit of force. See, just to lift up right there. Just get to the other side real quick. Okay, so there's two little wires right here, see? So there's one right here. This one you simply just pull out right there. Looks good, and then this one has two little safety connectors. Basically you just pull this little back black thing forward, and there we go. Uh, who would like a free keyboard, anyone? Anyone want a free keyboard right here? It's backlit. It's a full uh, QWERTY keyboard and a numpad. Just kidding. Okay, so let me just, I can clean this off real quick. Okay, so keyboard's nice and clean. Go. Set that aside. So here, right here, we have the cooling fan right here. Boy, this thing is noisy, so... This is a pretty easy way to open up your laptop. So you, again, uh, you just lift up the corner of your keyboard and then you want to push forward. And then the rest of the assembly will come out. Feel like it's, it's gonna feel like you're gonna break it, but you won't. You'll know when you, if you do. So then just uh, clean out the fan. I think Sony is just uh, notorious for having Noisy laptops. My friend had a Sony. I've had two Sonys. And they've just been noisy. Uh, I think the newer models could be better or it might be fixed. Who knows? So, right here, so it's pretty easy to replace the keyboard once you remove the private screws and you're gonna feel like you're gonna break the unit. So, then right here is the little DC unit jack right here. So, we're just gonna kindly remove that from the unit. So there's this little, let's see me zoom in a little bit. One, there we go. And so here's this little dinky power jack right here that just doesn't work. So it's a pretty, they charged me over a hundred bucks to, re to repair this thing. How uh, stupid was that? So I'm just gonna now, I'm gonna just uh, remove it from the computer and I'm gonna put my own wire in there. And my own connector too. So I was actually pretty fortunate that I didn't have to, have to take apart the whole entire computer in order to get access to this thing right here. Because sometimes I've seen that the barrel jack is, com is actually soldered directly to the motherboard. Uh, or, and slash the power supply I meant. So power supply is actually built into uh, the rest of the chassis. So I'm just gonna have to basically just uh, desolder this part of the jack or just cut it off and then put my own wire on there. So it's, I think Sony made my life a little bit easier there, but I'm still not removing that sign right there. Whew, that felt great to do. Okay, here's this terrible jack. And now we are gonna replace it with some happiness. I mean, good wire. 
So right here, here we go. So the goal is I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be replacing these, I'm gonna be soldering this directly to these wire, uh, two wires right here, and then it's gonna come out through this little hole right here. So see right here, simple. And then I'm gonna inlay that with uh, some heat shrink tubing right there. Uh, and then I'm gonna be putting the Dean's connector on there. So where's my Dean's plug? Here we go, right here, here's the Dean's plug. So, and I'll put that attached right here. So I have a little bit of cord sticking out, but I don't care if it's ugly or not. It's actually gonna work because it's actually two direct contacts. While here, with the little DC jack and a charger, we saw that it's just basically, it fits like this. So it actually wiggles quite a bit, see? So something with the connection inside just doesn't like, look at, like, like it. So here, let's show a picture of what it looks like on the inside if you can. So you see how it's kind of pretty much hollow inside, see? So they charged me quite a bit of money just to get this thing replaced. And this was a custom DC jack too. Um, maybe I'll just sell on the internet, right? No, I'm just kidding, I won't do that. All right, so now the, now the fun begins. I'm gonna be using the, I'm gonna be using the female side, female connector. Since I, I think I assume that since um, direct contact to the battery may also be present from the output, so I'm gonna, I, I wanna prevent that. So I'm gonna just actually uh, have um, protection for that from the female part. Technically I could if I wanted to get some high strength epoxy and then just glue the connector like right there or even pull this little uh, plastic chrome piece out and just stick that here. But I'm going to just experiment for a little bit, just having the wires dangle out a little bit so, so it won't hurt too bad. Sure it'll look a little bit ugly, but I'm getting it done.